Hi, I'm Melanie Short. I'm with Journey Counseling. I'm a therapist and a co-owner there. I'm here today to teach you in a, just a few minutes um, some grounding techniques that you can use with your children. Ways that you can very quickly help them regulate, especially when they're in the moment, having um, an, an overwhelm, a meltdown, tantrums, potentially just any dysregulation. And so when they're overwhelmed emotionally, you're going to see those things happen and they're going to have tantrums. They might throw something, they might hit somebody, they might yell at somebody, they might cry uncontrollably, you know, so any of those things, these are good. It's a good place to start to help them get grounded, to help them learn how to regulate because they're learning from you. So you want to be able to teach them these things. Um, so first I'm going to say the two phases of this are connect and redirect. Okay. So connect is going to be when you are connecting with them. You are going to be helping to soothe them and helping to ground them. I'll teach you a few breathing techniques that you can do with children really well. Um, but first in general, you want to get really small. You want to get on their level. You want to try to be face to face with them. So get on the ground, kneel down if you need to, in order to show them that you're there. Look them in the face, right? So show them you're there with them. You want your facial expression to be empathetic. You want to show concern and empathy for them. If you have a flat face like this, where you're just like very flat, no expression, they can't feel that. You want them to be able to feel the empathy because they can't hear words and language very well right then when they're overwhelmed. So empathetic face, face-to-face -face with them, soothing tone of voice is important. You need them to feel the emotion in your voice. And physical touch is good, especially if this is your child, right? Physical touch in some way. So sometimes it's just like a hand on the arm, letting them know you're right there. Sometimes it's a hug. Sometimes they want to be held. Uh, so other times maybe it's like a couple of hands just like right on the shoulders or near the shoulders, but you're just there with them, light touch like that. Um, it's going to help them just be connected to you. Okay. And so that's when you can start. Once you've got those things in place, you can start introducing some breathing to them. If this is the first time, then you're just going to introduce it in some way where it's like, okay, I'm going to take some deep breaths, man, that you're, it's, you're having a big emotion and you just might want to just say things in a soothing tone. That's I'm here with you. I know I'm here. I'm here again. It doesn't matter what you say, as long as it's in that tone of voice, you can name it to tame it is the phrase depending on their age. And really you can start at any time. This is 18 months and up. You can start doing these things. Um, because they will start mirroring you when you're doing breathing and they can start learning um, these breathing techniques when they're that young. Um, but name it to tame it is the emotion. So if you're noticing they're angry, it's like, oh, this is, this is a big emotion. This is really, like, it's really angry or you're just really sad or overwhelmed. Like, just name it. It helps them put language to it even if they can't identify it in the moment. It just helps over time. So that's a good thing if you can remember to do it. But in general, as you're, as you're getting down um, on their level with your soothing voice, this is a little tip for you as the adult uh, that they don't even have to know you're doing. It's like a little, it's a little trick. It's a little hack that helps their brain start to regulate and it's tapping. So if my hands are like on their back or their shoulders, then I'm like, like around their shoulders or something, then I might tap slowly right to left. So right shoulder, left shoulder, right shoulder, left shoulder, slow tapping like this, um, just a little bit of rhythm to it. Um, that is going to just prompt the brain to pay attention and to start learning how to calm in those moments. So it's just like one of those like little hacks that you can do that they won't really know you're doing. Once they're getting a little older, you can teach them about tapping and that that's helpful for regulating. Um, but for now, if they're young, you can just tap for them especially as you're going into some breathing. So you're going to just like identify, I'm going to, I'm going to take some big, deep, big, deep breaths. When I'm overwhelmed, I like to take breaths, take some big breaths in. Like, you know, they, they'll start mirroring you likely, or you can prompt them to mirror you. Um, you might do shoulder breathing as one that's like 
when you breathe in, it's like, I just scrunch my shoulders up when I breathe in. And then when I breathe out, I let them down. <sighs> so you get some physical movement in it. Children, it's really good to introduce movement into any of these techniques because um, again, it's not so much the verbal processing, it's more emotional and body processing. So that's one breathing way technique that you can use. Another one, um, I like to bring in animals because um, often with kids, we're learning animals and they can relate to that. So with bunny breaths, you know, they take little sniffs in their nose. So you're going to take three sniffs in your nose and then a long exhale. So it's like, like that. So get them to mirror that breathing style and just do that over and over again. You're going to notice when they're coming down a notch in their emotion level. You're going to notice that. It's going to be clear when they're getting more regulated and calmer, kind of on the other side of that hump of the dysregulation, right? Um, then another one is lion's breath or dragon's breath. It's the same kind of thing, but it's like asking them to pretend to be a dragon or a lion. So if they're a dragon, they're going to breathe a deep breath in and they're going to let it all out like, like they're breathing fire, right? Just like let all out forcefully. Same with a lion, you're going to let it all out in like, like a roar, right? So getting them to do these things, it, it, sometimes it'll help them participate in it a little bit more when you bring in the animal breath like that, animal breathing like that. Um, but in general, any of the breathing is good. Anything to get them to focus on their breath is a good thing. And honestly, you doing it with them is great because you're walking them through it, you're showing them how to do it, and they can mirror you. Um, also. I mean, to be honest, if, if your child's melting down, you're probably getting pretty overwhelmed, frustrated, something like emotional as well. Sometimes we can feel really helpless. You breathing with them is probably not a bad idea because it gets you regulated too. And the more you regulate and that's what you're showing your child, the better they can do it. And like the more regulated we are, the more capacity we have to help them. I like to keep these tips simple and easy because you're more likely to do them in the moment and remember to do them. And so are your children. Simple is always better. The simple things work the best. So start there, practice them, do them each time. And your child, as they are uh, getting used to it and getting older, they're probably gonna be able to ask for what they need. And again, these kinds of breathing techniques can start when they're 18 months to two years old and older. You can start anytime. And as they get older, you might, there might be different breathing techniques or different language. If they're a younger teen or a teenager, they might use counting with their breathing. So it's counting in for four or out for four, in for four and out for four, or in for four and out for six. Elongating that breath out is always a good thing. But those are my basic tips um, to help with regulating. So good luck, try them out. Let us know how it's going.